Okay, guys, so another question we usually get asked a lot uh, is, do, can I use tap water or do I need to use deionized water? So what are the differences between those two and how could that possibly affect whatever it is you're doing? I will just say in short, 99% of the time, use deionized water, probably 100% of the time. It's always safe to use deionized water and here's why. So our deionized water has been deionized, meaning it has taken out the hard water ions, calcium and magnesium, any chlorine ions, all ions are gone. And this is just pure H2O. It's pure water, nothing else. The tap water, even on some of the spigots, you can see there's some white uh, like lime scale that's built up. And again, this is the hard water. So those are calcium and magnesium ions amongst some other stuff that's in the water that has start to you know, dry up and form solid on our faucets. And, you know, if you are at your house and you have hard water, you can see it on your faucets as well, as well. So the only times I can think to use tap water would be maybe if you're making an ice bath. So you have ice in a beaker and you need to put some water in there to make it cool. I mean, that you don't need deionized water for because it's not touching your chemistry or your reactions at all. It's just really there for an ice bath. But if you're, you're performing a chemical reaction and you need to add some water or you need to dilute something, you're making a stock solution, you need to dilute it with water, you should always use deionized water because it doesn't have other ions in it that could possibly affect the chemistry that might be occurring in your reaction.